our plow guy fucked us. It's a brand new guy, and he totally fucking snowed. He plowed me in. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. I'm I, I'm just as bad with fucking drifts up to here, dude. You live right next door. I live right behind the Best Western. I've been there for oh, okay. I've been there for two years, but this is the first time that they've really fucked it up. Yeah, dude. Look at this shit. Like I took myself out this morning. I don't want to have to do that shit again. It's gnarly, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. I I dude. I, I did it last night. Today, yeah. I'm done, dude. I'm gonna pay somebody. <laughs> if you can find somebody though, I've been out all over town walking around. It's like, dude, I'll fucking pay anybody, dude. I'm shitting money just, right now. Let's do this. Need someone with a cat. I think my downstairs neighbors na may know someone. I'm gonna talk to them. Well, dude, I'll be walking back this way. Hopefully, I see a cat in here. <laughs> no worries, brother. You take care. Look at that, I'm getting every, getting everybody high up here. <laughs> God, dude. Okay, we're gonna cross the street. Dude, look at this. This is Moonridge Road, guys, in the fucking middle of the day. Look at this. Look at this. Bear Mountains this way. The only things you see on the street are people. So incredible, you guys. God, that is some good shit. Makes this fucking walk so great. <laughs> So good over here too. It reminds me of my mom. As much as I fucking can't stand her, I, I do miss her a bit. But I can't support a lady who supports pedophiles, if you know what I mean, so. I don't care if it's my mother, I love her to death, but can't be around someone who supports people who uh, have had issues with uh, child issues, if you know what I mean. So that's about as much as I can say because I have a restraining order on me. Because um, I don't like pedophiles, I guess, so. Um, it, one of them put a, put a restraining order on me. Uh, and it's funny now because I can't even talk about this person or even tell people where this fucking faggot lives to keep their kids safe. They put a restraining order on me to shut me up so I couldn't tell Facebook and the rest of the people about this person that my mother supports and thinks he's just God's greatest gift. Yeah, it's a fucking pedophilia. Anyway, here's Big Bear, man. It's fucking insane. What's up guys? Uh, Take care. Hey, hey, Have fun. Hey, hey, hey. It, it, it'll be on YouTube later. Yeah. See you guys. Dude, it is 
so cold out here. Next guy I see with a big powerful truck, I'm gonna be like, you, you wanna make a hundred? Then he'll be like, yeah. So I'll unzip my pants. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's what one of my bosses would do at the, the car dealership when I worked at Theodore Robbins Ford in Costa Mesa. His name was Jim Barker. He was the coolest guy, man. But since we'd get spiffs and shit like that, he would always tell us to, uh, or he would say, hey, you wanna make a hundred real quick? And we would think it's to ride up a car or go do a test drive because it's the weekend or something. Then he would unzip his pants. <laughs> yeah. That was back before we had all these fucking whiny pussies in this country who get offended by fucking everything. Little cunts. But it is what it is. Look at that. Wow. Just so magnificent. got the right idea. What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Take it easy, man. Fuck yeah, right on, man. Take care. Tell you guys a little bit. You guys watched my videos years ago. I used to eat mushrooms every now and again, just like most people. <laughs> but it was many, many years ago. I was up here with a bunch of friends, and we ended up eating a bunch of mushrooms, all of us. <laughs> and my friend's parents have a had a humongous house down on, down on the corner of of Cove Avenue, Cove Street, one of the biggest homes in Big Bear. Anyway, we ate a bunch of mushrooms, and we ended up fucking all the way over here, dude, in a snowstorm. We, we walked, okay? That's the problem with shrooms, dude, is once you get going, <laughs> once in motion, you stay in motion. Dude, look at all the snow! Sorry. I probably sound like such a fucking, just a junkie or something, but I'm not. I quit drinking. June 23rd, 2013 is my sobriety date for alcohol. Haven't had a single relapse and nor will I, God willing. And then I still smoke herb like a champ. Um, I know you're supposed to be abstinent from all mind altering substances if you join any 12 step programs, but that's why I don't go to meetings anymore because I smoke weed. I used to go to meetings all the time. I like the meetings actually. But, damn, dude. Dude, look at this place. Look at that. Look at that. You know that's a, a vacation home. God, it is fucking cold, man.
Damn, I want to drive around right now. There's those guys in the truck. No, it's just blowing right in my face. Look at these places. These people are completely snowed in. They aren't getting out anywhere. What's going on? Snowboard in here because it's closed? Oh, you sledding? Whoa, that's a huge hill right there, dude. All right, knock it out. Let's see you nail it. Watch this guy. He's, there's no cars coming. This dude's gonna charge this huge hill right here. He's a maniac, guys. He's a maniac. Oh my gosh, there he goes. <laughs> right on, guys. Take care. Wow, that was cool. So this is Club View Road that, that we have been on. We walked down all of Moonridge Road for the most part. Look at these places, dude. <laughs> right on, man. Hey, you too.
beautiful house, huh? Gorgeous house. What's up guys? I'm dealing with the same thing. <laughs> There's Bear Mountain. 